India has embarked on a bold journey toward transforming its aerial defense posture by officially initiating the development of a fifth-generation stealth fighter jet under the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMC, program. This move comes amid rising geopolitical tension in South Asia and an urgent need to modernize military assets. The launch of this indigenous stealth fighter project is not just about technology, it reflects India's strategic reorientation in the face of increasingly aggressive posturing by China and Pakistan in the region. The AMCA program, led by the Aeronautical Development Agency ADA, in collaboration with several private and public sector stakeholders, represents a significant departure from India's traditionally state-dominated defense model. According to the Hindu, this is part of New Delhi's broader vision to decentralize military production and harness private sector dynamism to speed up the development cycle of defense projects, a response to past inefficiencies associated with Hindustan Aeronautics LTD HAL. India's Air Force is grappling with a substantial shortfall in operational squadrons. The Indian Air Force IAF, maintains only 31 squadrons against the sanctioned 42, many of which are outfitted with aging Russian-origin aircraft such as the MiG-21s. In stark contrast, China's Chengdu J-20 and Pakistan's Chinese-acquired J-10C fighters, both equipped with EESA radar and advanced avionics, pose a formidable challenge. As India Today quoted an IAF official, India's current air power is spread too thin to guarantee air dominance, making the AMC's timely deployment critical. India's decision to fast-track the AMC comes in the wake of increasing military friction with its neighbors. A recent four-day flare-up with Pakistan involved intensive drone sorties and electronic warfare systems, suggesting a tectonic shift in the region's combat doctrine. Reuters reported that drone warfare is now a central element in South Asia's evolving conflict matrix, where manned aircraft may soon share skies with autonomous platforms in active combat zones. The Defense Acquisition Council DAC, has endorsed the integration of private firms into defense manufacturing to dilute House overbearing role. This strategy intends to reduce delivery delays and foster a competitive environment. As the Times of India noted, Air Chief Marshal VR Chaudhary warned that operational readiness is non-negotiable, urging rapid industrial reforms in military aviation. House track record, especially with the Tejas light combat aircraft, has invited criticism over frequent delays and cost overruns. Pandemic-era disruptions and reliance on foreign components like engines from General Electric compounded delays. According to Business Standard, such bottlenecks have not only slowed timelines but also eroded trust in state-led production pipelines, strengthening the argument for diversified industrial participation. The AMCA is designed to be a multi-role, stealth-enabled platform equipped for deep penetration strikes, air superiority, and advanced electronic warfare. Its design philosophy incorporates stealth shaping, internal weapon bays, and integrated avionics on par with the US F-35 or China's J-20. Defense News confirmed that the aircraft will enter its prototype phase soon and is slated for operational readiness by 2035, making it a cornerstone of India's future air combat fleet. Beyond battlefield utility, the AMC project is viewed by analysts as an assertion of India's aerospace sovereignty. In an interview with the print, Air Marshal, retired, Anil Chopra emphasized that indigenization is the only insurance against foreign embargoes and geopolitical arm twisting. He added that in a future world of sanctions and tech restrictions, only domestic capabilities will provide uninterrupted military readiness. India's collaboration with global partners, notably the US, is adding momentum to the project. Under the U.S.-India Initiative on Critical and Emerging Technologies ICET, Washington has approved the transfer of cutting-edge jet engine technology to India. Forbes called this agreement a milestone in bilateral defense cooperation, noting that General Electric is set to co-produce engines with HAL, a development that could drastically reduce India's dependence on imports. Thank you for watching. To keep yourself updated, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive every notification.